just could you just tell everybody? Um, it was really interesting listening to you and Emma Hayes in the first half about Calvin Phillips's position. He's going to play. I mean, unless something extraordinary happens, he's obviously going to play against Scotland. About the difference in his position, second half, which actually led to the goal, to first half, and how maybe we will see more of that. If, if England carry on playing this system as the championship unfolds. Yeah, if I'm honest, I have to take responsibility on, on, on this one because I think I underestimated, uh, underestimated him, if, if I'm brutally honest, because, you know, I, I saw him at Leeds. I know he has a lot of quality, dictates the, you know, the play from uh, deeper areas for Leeds. Uh, he's everywhere. He has got every range of pass in his locker. But basically my comment was, in the final third, a little bit, you know, higher... Yeah. Has he got the final ball? Has he got the end product? So, you know, my point was, would you play and be brave against teams that sit back in, you know, two banks of four, hard to break down? Do you play a Mason Mount and, and be brave, a, a Mount, a Foden and a Declan Rice? Because you're going to have predominantly, you know, a lot of ball possession. Uh, you're going to have the ball, but in that final third, you know, that understanding to, to get in between and behind players and opposition to then be now attacking. So my point with the, the Calvin Phillips one was time of his runs, you know, he's, he's, he was running in behind too early. Uh, Foden likes to come in that position. But when we're trying to play out on the left-hand side through Mings, yeah. I felt we didn't have that link to find the other side. So yeah, two free passes, be brave on it. Now we, little diagonal ball and now you're out. Now you're feeding you know, the better players, the Foden's, yeah. the Canes coming inside, Sterling's, or wherever it is, but a little bit higher up and then you look at the end product and, you know, he, he he's made me wrong because he, he give a gr great turn and then a great weight of pass to, to put him in. I just feel when you come up against the better teams, you're going to need that little bit more of cleverness, creativity in that area. But again, he's done unbelievable no, but it, was, it, it, it's a, it was just really interesting listening to you and Emma I'm not, not it just it was that it was just really interesting listening to you and he did actually take up slightly different positions in the second half which led to the goal yeah. the position he found himself in the second half to give the pass to Sterling was not particularly a position he found himself in the first half was it I just, I just felt it's, it, you know right he mentioned it that you know uh, Bielsa changed his position yes. but he changed his position for a reason yeah. if you're an unbelievable eight or holding midfielder but you've got good timing and an arrival, well, he ain't going to put you deeper, is he? So my point is he's changed it for a reason because maybe he's thought little weakness there. He can't get inside the pockets. He can't, you know, be on the half turn like a Mason or Foden. Bang, open your body. Now you're driving a, a back four. So that was my point around that. But again, you know, and I'll go back to it and I'll stick to it. When you play against the better teams, then I would like to see yeah. how that's going to work. Yeah. You, you how know, that's going to uh, work. Uh, uh, I don't think you're alone in underestimating Calvin Phillips as well. I always feel that position with Phillips and Rice and Mount and those players, you don't really get the full effect of what they do when you're watching on TV. It's only when you're watching them at the stadium or you're playing against, against them, you really see, one, how hard these guys are working and two, what they actually bring to the game. So I think- What I was think your whole, experience of, I mean, you, we've oh. talked a lot about Mount, but what was your experience <laughs> just, of Phillips? He just doesn't stop running for the whole game. He doesn't stop running. It's unbelievable when he's got, um, when you're looking to counter-attack, he's there, he's breaking up the play and then he's the first one to get leads on the attack. He's just non-stop for 90 minutes. And again, when I've seen him on TV before that, again, I, I didn't really see what he brought. It's only when you fully experience it, that you fully appreciate what these guys do. That's two hours of murder ball. That's what they do at the <laughs> They play bright. for two hours non-stop. They were 2-0 yeah, yeah, up against us at Ellen Road literally five minutes ago and they were, they were still they were still attacking. Their, their left back was getting in our box, so yeah. we couldn't get out. We couldn't even throw yeah. the kitchen sink because they still had the ball. Yeah. It was they unbelievable. Still had the sink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I watched him. Obviously, I was in the championship with, with Derby, and I see how you know effective he was. He, he was a, he dominated the games, you know, with a range of passing and uh, willingness to press. And you, you talk about how Bielsa plays, you know, everyone pressing, and he's always there, regain the ball. Mm. Now we change the tempo. Now he's short passes. Then he'll yeah. go quick. I get it and I've watched him in the Premier League he, he's a fantastic player but I tell you another thing Premier League football to international yeah. football yeah. is a totally different yeah. ball game is it is a totally different <clears throat> ball game so isn't that, isn't that, that amazing isn't that amazing how things can change like that I mean before the squad Gareth names your squad everybody's saying oh you've got to give John Henderson the time you need to get him time you've got to get in the squad don't care if he's injured we've got to take him because he might be fit later on latter stages of the tournament that performance there I mean, Jordan Henderson's a great player and he, of course he'll come back in and he probably will play at some point in this tournament. But he's, he's yeah. forgotten he's not a first team at the moment, Phillips is, is a man. It's, it's his yeah. shot. Yeah. That's the biggest shock. Yeah. If he gets left out and, uh, tomorrow night, mm. that's the biggest shock of the lot. 